It's time to glow up. Canva recently made huge changes and added a lot of new amazing features and new updates, and they call it their glow up. Today, we're gonna take a look at some of the most exciting ones. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first one I wanna talk about is one of the ones that I am most excited about, and that's gonna be in the mock-up category. So on this page right here, let me just give you a brief overview on how amazing mock-ups actually is. Now, I'm in the app mock-ups, and so you you could see over here on the left hand side that I already have a ton of options to select from when it comes to mockups. So for now, I already have two options selected. Now this first one is a frame and then this second one is going to be an iPhone case. Okay. So watch how amazing this is. In order to get a mockup in this image, all you have to do is just simply click and drag any image of your choice over the mockup and the AI will instantly fit it or fill it into the mock-up position. So for an example, let's just go ahead and do this. What I'll do in this portrait mode is I'm gonna come over here and then just simply click and drag this image on top of the frame. And then just like that, there she is. Now notice this, it doesn't fill up the frame completely, but that's no problem. With this selected, now select that button edit at the very top. Once you do over here on the left-hand side, I then have the option to select fill or fit. Right now it's fit, if I select fill, go ahead and apply changes and now just like that my image takes over the whole mock-up and it fits perfectly within that frame okay now the next thing is going to be this case over here we're going to do this the same exact way okay let's first go back over here either to your uploads or what's even better is that you could also search for any sort of stock image so let's go ahead and do that i'll just type in ai and then go through a few of these photos just until i can find something that may look cool how about this little robot on the left hand side again I'm gonna click and drag it over on top of the mock-up. You could see it's processing, and then just like that, there you have it. Now, again, it looks pretty bad. We want this to actually fit. If I select edit again, now on the left-hand side, what happens if I select smart crop? If I select smart crop, now I have up here at the top, I have my selection that's completely edible, okay? I can click and drag it to change the sizing, and then I can also move my robot back and forth until I feel like I have a good position to get them to fit within that mock-up. If I like it, let's go ahead and select apply changes. And now look at that. Just like that, beautiful. Two amazing mock-ups. And the one I love the best is going to be for the phone case because I love how it just looks like it's supposed to belong there. The way that the light bulb is directly underneath the camera lens, this did a fantastic job. So staying on the mock-up trend, now we have video mock-up. You you can now use the mock-up app for videos. It's very simple to find. Again, over here on the left-hand side, I already have the mock-up app opened up, but now you'll notice a brand new category and it's up here called video. Select all, let's just look at a lot of these options we have. As I scroll through them, you could see there are already a ton of options to choose from. And these are pretty impressive too, by the way. If I select, let's just say this Tumblr right here, check this out, okay? I can play it and then get a sample. The Tumblr is gonna rotate around. Let's try a couple of these. I'm gonna add this one. Let's go back to the mock-ups app and let's add Add one more thing okay so I have the tumbler there but now let me expand it again and let's take a look at some other options that we may have okay this candle one looks pretty cool let me go ahead and select this one as well okay we're gonna have a mock-up image directly on top of a candle that's nice okay what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and then click and drag this image that I made in AI again I'm just dragging it over the mock-up itself and then automatically it's gonna fit perfectly within the mock-up now this takes a little bit longer than photo however it's gonna do a great job okay perfect now that it's done it took about 30 seconds now check this out if I hit the play button there it is this does an amazing job with my tumblr rotating and that is the exact image I was wanting okay hit that play button again there it is now let's hit edit and again we have even more options the same ones we had in photo where I can click and drag and fill up my image the way I want it okay I could select fit or I could select fill 
fill is always going to work better in my opinion, okay? I can also change the alignment. I can also flip it. It's going to do a great job. Now, moving on to the next one. Let's do this one more time, but this time with the candle. Okay, and then here is the candle one. Let me go ahead and select play, and then there we have it. There is a woman lighting the candle with my logo. Okay, and now we have this one over here. Now, this one is one of my favorites. I love the way this computer opens up, and it's actually a screenshot of my Mega Prompts database, which, by the way, you can get by clicking the links in the description. But now if I hit that play button, look at that right there. The laptop opens up and then there it is right there. Video mock-up, one of my new favorite ones to use in Canva. Okay, now moving on, we're gonna talk about an update in Magic Grab. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Magic Grab, this is an amazing tool. I'm gonna search over here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna search elements, and I'm just gonna type in the word woman, okay? Let's just go ahead and bring her in here. Just any photo of a woman. Now, what I'll do now is I don't want this background, and here's one of the things Canva does do so well. I'll simply select background remover just to make this transparent, and now just like that. Look at this. It did a phenomenal job. So I have a woman in this image right here. Now I want one more image. Now here is a good looking image for Dubai. Okay. I'll click and expand it. Now we have two images right next to each other, just like this. So let's start back here again. Now you'll notice that I went ahead and added this woman back again with the background still intact. That's because this is actually going to have a purpose of why I did this. Okay. So first here is the photo of the woman right here. Now this is what we're going to do. Now up here at the top at your tab, Taskbar, do you see these two small arrows in the top right hand corner? Select that to see all. Then that's going to open up this column on the right hand side. From here, we're going to select the Magic Studio app called Magic Grab. Okay, go ahead and hit that. Now I have Magic Grab selected. Since I was clicked on this photo of the woman, it automatically appears right here in the Magic Grab dashboard. The cool thing about this is that we have two options we have brush, where I can hover over the image and basically paint the object I want out, or I could select click, or if I just click on the image or hover over it, look what the AI does. It automatically detects the woman, sort of like the subject tool in Photoshop. It does it here perfectly in Canva. Now, check this out. If I want to now click on her, it not only hovers over her, but then adds that purple outline. If that's what you want, select grab. Now, wait a few minutes. Now watch this. It's going to completely remove the woman from this scene and away from that light gray background. And you can look at the status bar and it's showing you it is moving pretty quick. And this does a very impressive job. Okay. Just like that, it's done. Now it brings me back over here to my main project. And you might think to yourself, well, that's the same exact image. However, since we used magic, grab. Now watch this. Now if I click and drag the woman, look, magically she is off of that image and now I can click and drag her anywhere that I want. That's amazing. Now watch this. Let's remove this. Okay. Now we're going to focus on just this right here. Here are my two images. Now this is where things get really fun. Okay. Now I'm going to take this same woman and let's just say we want to put her like right here, a little bit in front of this building. Okay. However, what if we want the building to be in front of her. Well, that's what we're going to do. Click on this image. Okay. Hit those arrows again. Now do magic grab. Now let's do click. Let's get this building out of here. And I clicked over it. Canva already detects. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now select grab. This is amazing. Out of all these buildings here, just simply by clicking on it, it understood exactly what I was wanting. And now look at this. Just like that, I magically grabbed this building in Dubai out of here. And now I could select exactly where I want it. Now it's still in front of this woman. However, leaving it clicked. Now let's go back over here at the very top. Let's select position and now let's move it backward. There it is. Now this building is completely behind this woman and she is in front of it. Okay, now moving on to the next one. And this one is called blend. This is going to be pretty fascinating as well. Again, now let's go ahead and then find two other images. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go ahead and select two different things. I want to go ahead and find a woman in the uh, mountains, okay? Now that's going to be the first image I'm going to use. Now let's go with this one over here. And now I have an image of a bear. Now with this being called blend, I think you probably 
really have a good idea of what this means, we're going to blend these two images together. So I'm going to put this bear in a similar position of where I kind of want it to be. So how about right here? Now, the next thing that we're going to do, this is important. We need to go ahead and highlight both of these images at the same time. So in order to do that, just click outside these two images. Let me first get rid of blend. Okay. Click outside these two images, click over to where both of them are encompassed within your hover. Okay. Once this is the case, now we're going to go ahead and select this double arrow button again. And now over here on the right hand side, there is that new app and it's called blend. It's like Canva is magically reading our mind just by simply highlighting or hovering over and selecting both of these images. Canva automatically knows to populate this app blend. Now, here we go. Let's go ahead and select it. Now we're going to blend two images together and it says start by selecting two images, place one image on top of another in the size and position you want them merged, then select blend images. Once I do, I'm going to automatically get not one, but four choices Canva will provide me. That way I could pick which one does look the best. Okay, there we have it. And now just like that, there is a bear, there is another bear, and I can go through them. Looks like three of them actually populated. And if I want one to use, I'll just select it. And now there we have it. There is my jumping bear next to the woman in the mountains. Now, obviously I did this quickly just so I can give you guys the quick tip on how to use this. But once you take a little bit more time, you can definitely make it look much better than this. Okay, moving on. This next one I want to share with you guys is going to be very exciting, especially for creators. Now you'll notice on this slide right here, I have a video of myself. Okay. And you might not be able to hear it, but if I hit the play button, you could hear a humming noise in the background and it's actually from my ceiling fan. So definitely not ideal. Constantly add new update. Okay. But that's not going to be a problem because there is actually an easy fix for this. So if I have this selected now, again, click on the actual video. And now you'll notice up here in the taskbar, there's an option that says audio. Okay. If I select audio now over here on the right hand side, I can get rid of any hum or any background noise immediately now with this new tool. And all you have to do in order to make my voice sound better and with more clarity is simply just toggle this button on over here in enhance voice. Okay. Once I do Canva is now going to be able to detect any humming or background noise that you might not want. And then just like that, it's going to automatically enhance my voice and then remove the background humming noise, therefore making my audio 10 times better. Let's go ahead and move on to the next feature. Okay. And this time we're sticking on the video theme right here. Okay. Now watch how amazing this is. You know that you can remove the background in photos in Canva and it does an amazing job, but can you do that in video? Well, now we can with my video selected, let's do the same thing up here at the top. Let's select now this button called BG remover. Now watch this just like that. It's going to take a little bit of time, but once it's complete, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprise. Okay. Now, just like that, there you go. It completely removed the background, which is pretty impressive considering the background behind me is pretty detailed. There's a lot to remove, but it did do a very good job. Now moving on to the last portion, and this is going to be new updates in Canva docs. Now Canva docs is one of my new favorite additions since magic studio came out. In fact, Canva docs has allowed me to now eliminate Google docs and Microsoft office where now my primary doc is going to be over here in Canva docs. So the first thing I want to show you is I already have a sentence up here. Let's just make believe this is going to be my preliminary title for this video. Now watch this. Let me go ahead and highlight it. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and hit that plus button. And now we're going to leverage AI with magic, right? I have a few new options. I have shorten, I have expand, rewrite, and then edit with magic, right? Let's select edit with magic, right? Now watch this. I could select add a voice. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. And I have different brands. And when I select add a voice, I could create a new voice or I can use one from my brand. Now, speaking of brand on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and open up my brand. This is where I can save all of my different color schemes and everything like that. Now notice on the left-hand side, I already created a brand voice and I just simply said this, our voice is informative, friendly, confident, and casual. We like to add a a little fun too. So with that 
that said, let's go ahead and re-highlight this again. Hit that plus button. Select Edit with Magic Right. Now from the drop down, let's select my voice I already created, okay? Now select Generate. It's gonna give me a brand new voice based off of my title with some more details, and it's gonna take those qualities and characteristics I've already given it, okay? Let's do this one more time. I'm gonna select this again, hit that plus button, and I can expand it. Okay, now there we go. Look at this right here. Let's highlight this one more time, and now select Edit with Magic Right again. Let's remove this, and what we're gonna say is make this more fun okay now let's go ahead and select generate now sure thing let's add some pizzazz to your content here's a spruced up version okay there we go now i'll select add below now i have an all new spruced up version that's a lot more fun now moving on the next thing i want to show you guys is going to be on the left hand side underneath elements if i scroll down to the bottom left hand corner we have one that's called columns if i select see all we're going to get some very new additions to columns we have pre Redesigned columns. If I go back and we have stylized columns, this is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and select this one. Okay. I'll go back and let's go ahead and select another one to put right below it. This is pretty cool as well. So now we have two default column selections that we could use. And then I can bring in any sort of element that I want by again, simply just clicking and dragging this into the individual column. And there we have two columns here. And then the other cool thing is I love these gradient style columns because now what we can do is actually get a little bit more creative. We could add some text, okay? And then we can also add some cool stickers or graphics, okay? By simply selecting that, if I go to the next column, I could add this sticker and I could have some cool text. And so these columns just take your creativity up a little bit further, okay? And now last but not least, let's come on down here. I'm gonna hit this plus button. Now, the cool thing about this is now we have the capability to add page breaks, okay? Simply just select page break after hitting that plus button and now I can start with a brand new page. Do you see how it separates this first page now? Now, once I'm down here, we're going to go to, again, what might be one of my other exciting things. Hit that plus button and now scroll down into where you see highlight blocks. Highlight blocks is going to be incredible for organization. I have six options to choose from. Let's go ahead and then select this first one. Now, automatically, I can change things up, but it's going to allow me to add a lot more organization organization into all of my Canva docs and really just make them stand out even more, okay? And then I can add one right below it, this time a different color. I can actually change these icons, okay? So I'll delete this icon right here, but let's add a completely different one, okay? So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and then just type in the word icon and then select graphic and then click and drag it in here and then I can click and expand it and have it fit exactly how I want. I can do the same thing with the one right below it, again, click and drag it directly within that little window. And now I have two completely different icons of my choice. I can simply change the color up and now I can make this one more gradient and then allow my text to show out more by simply selecting the white color, okay? That way it's gonna blend in perfectly since my gradient colors are darker. If I wanna change up my gradient color scheme, click on it and now just simply select the kind of colors that you want instead. And I can also change up my blue a little bit and look, just like that, now I have a completely different look and feel of my gradient column. Amazing job. Some nice, simple tips and nice key features to add some more color and organization to Canva Docs. Okay, so there you have it. There is another exciting update called Glow Up in Canva. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you don't have Canva Pro, there'll be a link in my description. You'll definitely want to try it, especially after they keep innovating and updating Canva. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Turn it back.